Now, I've always respected Subaru and how Subaru dealers have conducted business. The demand is very, very high, and people are generally willing to pay full price on Subarus. That's the type of clientele that they have. However, I decided a long time ago that that no-nonsense approach to car negotiation wasn't my style. I like the traditional negotiation that takes place on cars when I'm at the Mercedes dealership. And I accepted the fact that you're not going to get that type of experience at Subaru. However, what I want to do for you in this video is break down exactly what you should target, what you can expect as far as a good deal on a Subaru Ascent. I'll break down inventory in the United States, compare it against its competition. Finally, I'll leave you off with some yearly insurance premiums I think you should target in your state. What is happening, guys? Ari here from Boston Automotive Consulting. And by clicking here or the link in the description below, you'll be able to access a summary of tonight's negotiation guide on my blog, negotiationguides.com, where you'll also be able to connect with local area Subaru dealers to get the very best price on an Ascent. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is going to teach you everything you're going to need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. You guys, let's get down to business as far as inventory, what we're seeing in the United States. On the Ascents, across all trims is roughly 2,967 of them. Compare that against 12,560 Ford Explorers, 10,733 Honda Pilots, 3,831 Mazda CX-9s, 6,094 Toyota Highlanders. Now, trim by trim, I did combine seven and eight passenger Subaru Ascents. I'm sorry if that pissed anybody off. However, you can kind of split it up evenly 50 50 between seven and eight passenger Subaru's done a pretty good job of stocking both. As far as premiums, cumulatively, we're seeing 782 of them, 1208 limiteds. 957 Tourings. Because we've got so many Limiteds, I've picked out one. It's a seven passenger for tonight's negotiation guide. Mine has an MSRP of 44761 The cost, the dealer's invoice would be very, very close to about six and a quarter percent below the MSRP on the Subaru Ascent. Does that mean you're getting it for invoice? Hell no. No, it doesn't. It doesn't mean anything close to that. It means that you should do your best to try and target invoice. However, realize that getting it for MSRP at this moment is probably a really, really good deal. However, if you get any sort of discount, buddy, you won. Targeting invoice would land you at 41945 Right now, Subaru is not offering any rebates. However, however, they are offering a promotional APR at 0.9% for 60 months. This goes up to 1.49% between 66 and 72. This would also go up to 2.49% if you're looking at this and the model is a 2022, which all this information would also still apply. Targeting the strong deal of MSRP landing a minimum of 44761 obviously pursue better. Also, this would land you at a 60-month payment of $836 a month should you choose to finance using the 0.9% at 60 months. If you were planning on leasing, however, you weren't planning on looking at the limited, I did prepare some other lease payment estimates. You can access it by clicking here or the link in the description below, and it'll take you to the negotiation guide summary on my blog. Now, assuming you got this Subaru Ascent for MSRP, we are seeing a residual of 61% for 36 months at 10,000 miles a year, and a money factor of 0 0.00115. Now, plugging this all in into the lease calculator and assuming you're giving just your inception fees, do it start so your first payment, acquisition fee, dock fee, registration, all that stuff. Do it start roughly about 1950. We'd be talking about 561 bucks a month. 
That's not including sales tax, you guys. And again, that is assuming you got it for MSRP, getting a couple thousand dollars off or getting it for $2,000 more than the MSRP. Just subtract 50 or add 50 to your payment. Hopefully you're subtracting. I really do hope so. As far as insurance, what I want to recommend you try and target out in Arizona is a yearly premium of $1,590, $1,845 in California, $2,125 Florida, $1,195 Illinois, $1,270 Massachusetts, $2,995 Michigan, $1,655 New York, $1,080 Ohio, $1,305 Pennsylvania, $1,655 Texas, a thousand and ninety in Virginia right now. My motto is do not pay more than MSRP. If you're paying more than MSRP, you lost big time and I'm sorry. Visit negotiationguides.com by clicking here or the link in the description below. Review all this information, absorb it. That way you are ready for when you are connected with local area Subaru dealers so that you can land the very best price on your Subaru Ascent. And if you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.